<sighs> Murray Naren, everybody, uh, coming to you from the car this morning because I keep forgetting to record these <laughs> videos and put them up. It's a whole new part of the habit for me. Um, but I've had a lot of conversations, obviously, as a lot of Aboriginal people are having at the moment, about the voice. So I thought, let's bite the bullet, let's do this thing. All right, so number one, what are we voting on? A colleague recently gave the example of dinner. So before working out what we're having for dinner, we're going to work out if everyone's ready for dinner. Do we all want dinner right now? So if we get a resounding yes, we all want some dinner, well then we can pull out the menu and start working out what we want to eat. Um, and then if you extrapolate that further to what happens after the vote, well, Parliament keeps hold of the menu and the vote of yes means that there's always a menu to choose from instead of it being thrown in the bin when governments change hands. So we're amongst us deciding if all First Nations people in Australia should have the opportunity to somehow be heard on the things that affect them on a daily basis. And the more conversations I have, the more I see that um, mainstream Australia has been left out of this conversation for a really long time. Um, and at some point, I feel like we need to trust in each other's humanity. Would a group of people have been asking for the same thing for over 200 years if they didn't need it? And if you're not sure about a yes or a no, then maybe you can put your trust in those people to agree with them and say, okay, I hear that you're asking for this. I hear that this is a consistent request. That this is a consistent push. And I'm going to give you that opportunity because we are all in this together and we are all people and we do all deserve to be heard. And there are a group of people in this country that don't get heard about their own issues. And to that end, there's been conversation recently about all the money that gets spent. Well, if we're spending all this money and we're not getting any closer, why would we do? Well, why would we keep doing the same thing for a start? And also, you know, you can compare the money spent on Aboriginal services to what's going on with the NDIS at the moment. You know, we, we have this whole industry of middlemen, service providers. And I'm not saying that even the majority of them do the wrong thing, but there are certainly groups of people, well, groups of organisations, <coughs> and it's not a malicious act necessarily, but all of those service providers, it costs money to operate those organisations, to pay the wages of the people that work for them, to pay the rent to the buildings they work in, you know, to buy the rights to the products and, and courses and things that they want to run, all of that costs money that's where the money goes the money's gone a long time often before it gets anywhere near first nations people and the, the things that they require the services that they need so that they can live a life that's on par with the rest of australia this isn't about being extravagant this isn't about getting you know more choices of than anyone else or more voice than anybody else it's just about being able to say hey you know, in our community, we could really use some help with this. And this is how we think it would work if you could give us a hand with that. At the moment, it's entirely up to the government of the day to decide if that is even a conversation that's on the table. But voting yes to the voice referendum means that there has to be a table for us to come to with our concerns and our needs to ask for support in the ways that we need it, not in the ways that are determined by the government imposing them down onto us through service providers who do things in the way that they feel they need to be done or should be done 
rather than coming from the ground up from the people that need it who more than likely know what they need and how to provide it but just need to be able to get that information to the right ears at the right time anyway um, I'm more than happy to have conversations about this sort of thing to so feel free to um, you know respectfully put something in the chat or to contact me I apologize I look like um, a wild woman today I do need to get to a hairdresser at some point soon <laughs> Um, but anyway, look, you know, like I said, in the end, if you're not sure, if you're not sure about something, give it the benefit of the doubt. It won't cost anything like what it's costing now um, to, to try something new. And we might actually get some real benefit out of it, all of us, because I absolutely guarantee you as someone with both white and black family we all benefit we all benefit from doing things a little bit of the first nations way we really do so you know have that faith and that trust in your fellow humans and give them a yes have a good day